Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows mucosal of gallbladder with overdistended gallbladder having an impacted stone in the neck of the gallbladder. You can see the liver and the gallbladder having a large amount of thick sludge in it. Mucosal of the gallbladder is a condition caused by prolonged blockage of the cystic duct, usually by an impacted gallstone in the neck of the gallbladder as you can see in this case a large stone is impacted in the neck of the gallbladder another name for this condition is hydrops of gallbladder mucosal develops due to ex excessive accumulation of mucus it may be due to an impacted stone in the gallbladder neck most commonly the term gallbladder mucosal refers to an over distended gallbladder filled with the mucoid or clear and watery content usually non-inflammatory it results from outlet obstruction of the gallbladder and is commonly caused by an impacted stone in the neck of the gallbladder or in the cystic duct as you can see in this case the a large stone is impacted in the neck of the gallbladder the gallbladder mucosal distension which is usually non-inflammatory And mucosal of the gallbladder develops due to excessive accumulation of mucus. It may be due to an impacted stone in the gallbladder neck. A grossly distended thin walled gallbladder measuring more than 5 cm across anterior posteriorly. An impacted stone in the infundibulum or neck of the gallbladder or in the cystic duct and clear fluid content indicates a possible mucosal. As you can see in this video, the ultrasonographic Murphy sign may be positive. Ultrasound uses sound waves to produce pictures of the gallbladder and the bile duct. It is used to identify signs of inflammation involving gallbladder and is very good at showing gallstones. Ultrasound produces uh, it shows a sign of indication, uh, inflammation or indication that there is blockage of the bile flow. Ultrasound is the most common test performed to evaluate gallbladder abnormalities. So you can see again the a large stone seen in the neck of the gallbladder when the, the gallbladder is inflamed and swollen it irritates the phrenic nerve and phrenic nerve stretches from stretches from the abdomen through the chest and into the neck each time you eat a fatty meal it aggravates the nerve and causes referred pain in the right shoulder blade. The most common symptoms of the gallbladder problem is pain. The pain usually occurs in the mid to upper right section of the abdomen. It can be mild and intermittent or it can be quite severe and frequent. In some cases, pain can begin to radiate to other areas of the body, including back and chest. When gallstones are diagnosed, there may be some uncertainty about whether any stone have passed into the bile duct. Gallstones in the bile duct are sometimes seen during an ultrasound scan if they are not visible but your test suggests that bile duct may be affected you may need to have an mri scan or cholangiography the differential diagnosis can include acolyte cholelithiasis cholelithiasis irritable bowel syndrome dyspepsia, 
chronic pancreatitis atypical reflux or gas gall bladder problems are diagnosed through various tests these may include liver tests which are blood tests that can show evidence of gall bladder disease a check of the blood amylase or lipase level to look for inflammation of the pancreas again you can see the patient is the side on position and a large stone shadowing is seen impacted in the neck of the gall bladder and the, the gall bladder is over distended and shows thick sludge in its in in the whole length of the gall bladder so the symptoms of chronic gall bladder disease include complaints of gas nausea and abdominal discomfort after meals and chronic uh, diarrhea may be seen stones lodged in the common bile duct can cause symptoms that are similar to those produced by stones that lodge in the gall bladder but they may also cause jaundice obstructive jaundice so another name for this mucosal is the gall bladder eye drops eye dropic gall bladder often involves hospital treatment to control the inflammation of the gall bladder acute treatment include intravenous hydration and analgesics analgesics and sometimes antibiotics often the condition is recurrent and will eventually require surgical management with cholecystectomy so this is the mucosal of the gall bladder with the stone impacted in the in the neck of the gall bladder and the gall bladder is over distended and the whole length of the gall bladder have a large amount of thick sludge in it you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks